We always buy pigtails with no connection because we're always connecting to wherever we want. All furnaces never come with pigtail. Almost none of the equipment that we install comes with a pigtail. And I think I have a furnace. Let me grab this furnace. And it can get kind of hard, so we try to make it as easy as possible. But uh, it should be hard. Like, you don't want to do anything in life that's freaking easy. If it's too easy, dude, like, it's just boring, right? I like to do things that are gonna like challenge my mind. I love my mind gets bored and then I get depressed, right? You get depressed? You get bored? You should. You should. Yeah. Anyways, this is a gas furnace. All right, gas furnaces. You guys know what gas? You know what natural gas is? Gas is like is like the thing that turns on the stove where where it pops out, right? And so, okay. Notice this thing has a pigtail. When you buy a furnace, it does not come with the pigtail, okay? Why? Because the, the installer might want this one on this side, right? So you don't put it in because then it's like, now now it doesn't reach and then now he's got to cut it and redo it anyway. So you might as well not even put it on and let him put it on where he thinks is going to be best. So this is 110. Now, do you guys see any transformers in here? Yeah, I might just look around a little bit. Exactly. So you see how, how every single unit that's a furnace is always going to have a transformer just so that you can operate the circuit board because the circuit boards all work on, on 24 volts. They do not work on, on 110 because and remember, a technician wants to work on low voltage because it's a lot safer. We're trying to eliminate you know anybody getting hurt. So we always go down and that's, that's at least how they do the electrical. Now, if you notice here, I do have some thermostat wire. I do have some thermostat. All right. So, <clears throat> so now the question is, is how do you connect it to the to to this unit? All right. You notice you had a, a on those on that third on that transformer you had a common, and then you had the black one when we're connecting it to this one, right? So there's a right and the wrong way. If you connect this pigtail with let's say the white one here and the black one here you might reverse the polarities and then this won't work it'll say it'll say i, I can't read it you got the the, the the wrong wires are connected to the wrong side and we got an error code they'll say bad polarity fix the polarity otherwise i can't operate so everything has a polarity kind of just like the, the the north and the south the the plus and the negative you know if you were to put your batteries in 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 your remote control car backwards would it work it won't work right and so it's the same thing applies to this so so this it looks gray but then but then you're like is there a right and the wrong way to connect it how could you even tell right because it looks like it don't look black and white like the transformers but it does have a, a direction and so as an installer you have to always look at the at the at the um you always got to make sure you get the right polarity so Take a look at this. See if you see the little fine difference. One of them has little lines on it. And then another one does not have little lines on it. The other one is not. Right? Could you, could you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, if I was going to tell you where to connect to a transformer. Now, the question is, which one is common and which one? So, you're always looking for common. The one, that's, the one that, that you connect to, the white, is always the one that has the stripes on it. Right? Okay, so that's always common. All right, common is always white. All right, so you, you always got to make sure you, you get that correctly. All right, and so we're going to connect the transformer together just, just for the fun of it. All right, we're gonna, so we're going to connect to this source. This is a smaller transformer. So if I was going to connect the pigtail to this one, what color am I going to use on these? Exactly. All right, now the next thing is... Um, the white, so the white one goes with which one? The striped one. Which one's the, the striped one? Okay. Exactly. Remember the, the the one in the middle is always the ground. So the white, the ground does not count as oh. a common. All right, so we're gonna just connect this. That's a little green cable, right, and then inside. That's yeah, that's the ground. Okay. That's the ground. So so the ground always goes to the to the frame. That's protection for you, so so you don't get shocked as a technician because we get shocked man we get shocked a lot i get shocked i still get shocked all the time i uh, don't really like it but but you know we, we have to learn uh and get used to it 
That's where that's where we're gonna have a, a volunteer today. <laughs> All right, so look, so me, I'm doing this right now, guys, just to see if we can get 24 volts out of this. All right, so I'm just, and it might seem like we're going kind of deep into it, but I want you guys to just have a, 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 a little grasp. And then this one, you always want to cover it up, otherwise it'll shock you. Mm -hmm. These are wire nuts. Wire nuts are used to, to make things safe. Now these, you cannot touch, all right? Because they touch, it's gonna short out. All right, at this point. Okay, would you like to uh, plug it in first? <laughs> okay, now get the leads and let's measure, let's measure the, 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 the voltage on this. Always measure volts AC. That's what it, VAC means, volts AC. This power in the wall is alternate current. That's AC. Uh, batteries are direct current. That's DC. So you got to know the difference. You see, this one has volts AC, volts DC. All right? So you always got to make sure you position yourself in the right one. So, little here, come here. Measure your volts.